Lots of people want to lose weight, but some people really have to. Obese diabetics, for example. Now, researchers at the University of Calgary have shown there's a way to do it that's effective and so simple. Dr. Sue Peterson led the research team, and she joins us now in Calgary. So, Dr. Peterson, what's the secret here? Uh, well, Nancy, um, I'm pleased to be here to talk to you about this study that we've done that was published in this week's issue of the Archives of Internal Medicine. Mm -hmm. What we showed is that this plate, called the diet plate, is useful to help type 2 diabetics lose weight. The weight loss that we saw in this study was actually comparable to weight loss seen in studies of weight loss medication, but without the potential for side effects and at a fraction of the price. Absolutely. Let me show you how it, yeah, okay, show you how it works. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's four portions on the plate. This is the carbohydrate section of the plate. So that's where you would measure rice, pasta, potatoes, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. The meat section of the plate is here. So that's for fish, um, chicken, steak. Um, there's a circle for sauce if you choose to have sauce. And if you're having cheese with your meal, this is your cheese square. And that is actually a cube, not a tower of cheese. As you've, measured, as you've measured those things appropriate to whatever you've chosen to have to eat that day, you push it to the side and you can fill the rest with vegetables. So vegetables are unlimited as long as they're not covered in oil or stir fried or anything like that. So you know what's interesting about this? It makes total sense that portion control we know is certainly helpful in weight loss. What do you think it is about the plate and the markings that seems to work so well? Well, two things that set this apart from other types of weight loss interventions are, number one, simplicity, mm -hmm. and number two, the freedom. Um, when I say simplicity, I mean that this is easy to use. Um, there's no calorie counting. There's no number, keeping track of numbers through the day. All you have to do is follow this plate for the largest meal of your day, which for most people is supper time. And the second point is freedom. There's nobody telling people what foods that they can and cannot have. They can eat whatever they like as long as they follow the guidelines that are on the plate. And I should point out as well that this plate is not actually intended specifically for diabetics. It was designed with any overweight person in mind. And because we showed that it was useful in a group of type 2 diabetics in whom it is notoriously difficult to lose weight, this plate shows great promise for use in anyone who has a weight problem. Wow, that's so interesting. In your particular study, how significant was the difference between the group who used the portion plate and the group that didn't? Um, well, Nancy, people who were using the plate were over three times more likely to achieve a clinically significant weight loss mm. compared to people who were not using the plate. And when I say clinically significant, I'm talking about a 5% loss of body weight. Um, people who are able to lose 5% of their body weight who are overweight decrease their risk of uh, obesity-related disorders such as cancer and heart attacks. And they also decrease their risk of dying from those diseases. So if we can uh, help an overweight person to lose 5% of their body weight, we know that they are improving their, their lifespan and decreasing the risk of acquiring these, these serious disorders. And did, did you talk, talk to the people as they were experiencing this uh, weight control through the portion plates, did they feel that that it did give them the freedom, that they didn't feel like they, they were going to slide off the wagon or that they weren't going to cheat on the plates? Yes, this is what a lot of them said to me, that um, they, they thought it was great that no one was telling them, you know, you can only have, um, you, you can't have this food or you can't have that food. The, the freedom of choosing whatever they wanted to eat um, was uh, gave them great optimism, was very encouraging for them. And another important point is that in the study, we saw that people who were using the plate were more likely to require a decrease in their diabetes medication compared wow. to the control group. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was wonderful compared to the control group. The control group, on the other hand, required overall um, an increased um, uh, treatment in terms of their diabetes medication compared to the control group or compared to the intervention group. So to summarize that, what we saw was that people using the plate were able overall to decrease their diabetes medication, whereas people in the control group not using the plate needed to go up over the six-month period. So uh, that shows us that if we can use it, we can use something like portion control to help to control diabetes. Diabetes, people are able to come down on their diabetes medication. That gives less potential for side effects. Um, people are on less drugs, le uh, less cost of drugs. It, it, it's wonderful from that point of view as well. Absolutely. Almost half of yeah, almost ahead. half of the patients. Thanks. Almost half of the patients in our study were using insulin, and even from day one, a lot of them had to cut back their insulin dose from the very first day because they were suddenly eating uh, an appropriate portion of carbohydrates as opposed to the large portions that they had previously been consuming. Wow! It's a, it's as you say, it's an exquisitely simple concept that's proven to be so effective. Fascinating results, Dr. Peterson. Thanks very much for joining us to tell us about this.
and thank you very much.